Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Demons. My name is Demon and I will be your game master for today. Playing the part of Jack Walters is Matt. Hello. Playing the part of Dancy McCobb is Ben. Hey everybody. And playing the part of everybody else is the... I didn't write that. Um, last time, Jack, Dan, and Ryu went to San Jose to track down a quote-unquote security contractor uh, for Jenna. Uh, it be quickly became clear that... I can't read my own writing. This person was a carrier, a career criminal... And our two intrepid investigators and one ancient demon found themselves in a jewelry heist. After taking down the would-be robbers, Jack escorted Rue out to the building, where she was unfortunately shot and killed. The assailants, the assailants, the assailants got away, but dropped his gun. Uh, super excited for this one because number one, new microphone, and number two will become clear at the very end. Okay, um, so you two had decided to chase the guy who killed Ryu. Yes. Okay, that's good, because if you said no, then I'd be like... <laughs> we had a change of heart, you know, last time. <laughs> yeah. Alright, um, first of all, you're going to roll a research check, and this is your d20. Now you have Yeah, just have your d4s out, because I'm going to roll combat like that. Research, you said? Research. Okay, 14. Does that hit? Does it count as a reroll? What happened? It like, hit that and then it fell off. It even roll if you don't get Alright. 10 plus my research, 12. 12, you get a 14? Yes. Oof. <laughs> Okay, um, the gun was registered by an Antoni Valsetti from Italy. All paperwork was handled by a non-profit religious, religious organization called Our Lord of Justice. Oh, you... I changed the name like 16 different times. That was the best one I came up with. Um, 10, he's Italian born, he got fingerprints, he speaks four languages including Latin. You miss your next difficulty check information. So what are you going to do at this point in time? Um, You're trying to track down a guy who's obviously a foreigner. Hello, office? You might inform the DM which office you're t- talking to. Um, whatever the main office is. Maybe they can have a better look at... Getting information. I could always go on King and see if he has any Facebook posts. Are you telling a police office, the bureau office, oh, the office right. of uh, flighting let's, flights? And let's go with flights. See if he's gone flights. anywhere. Okay. Uh, so you call up some type of airport security system. Hello. Hello. Can I help, can I help you? Hi. Uh, I'm on official police business, and I need to know about the whereabouts uh, and flight. Of a specific person. Please hold. <sighs> Ten minutes later, you get a manager person to verify your police credentials. One uh, bottle you know. of root beer on the wall. <laughs> one bottle of root beer. Okay, so what was the question? Uh, oh, uh, hi. Uh, I'm on official police business, and I need to find the whereabouts and maybe a flight pattern of a certain individual. You have a name? Yes. Uh, and Tony... No, um, it's Antonio Valsetti. Valsetti. Okay, Antonio Valsetti. Um, do you know where he flew in at? No. Um, you do have fingerprints, so I assume that you would have like an identification number. Could be. So, yeah. okay, you throw that in there. Um, he looks it up. This guy is booked for flying into San Jose, and he's in. He's got a hotel, which he book, was booked through mm-hmm. also, and he at the moment does not have a return ticket. So you do have not have the hotel numbers. 
Kill us. All right. That was booked. So. All right. Any other questions? Uh, was he carrying a lot of baggage? Can you tell? No. Just himself? Just to carry on. Just to carry on. Okay. Jack, any more questions you can think? Was he traveling with anyone? Mm, does not appear to be so. It was registered as just one person. Okay. He was handled through a third-party organization, however. Ooh, third party. Can we get the information for that third party? Um, it's a Catholic organization by the name of Our Lords of Justice. And he'll give you his like phone number stuff. And apparently this is based in Rome. Okay. Got it. That is all. Thank you very much. Well, I hope you uh, have a good day, officer. Yep. Click. What about you? What about me? Doing anything? Calling anyone? Researching on King? Oh no, your computer keeps crashing. <laughs> Updates and <laughs> stuff. You know. I can't think of anything to do. Either. All right. Maybe the next one. Do you want to call uh, on that um, the number for our Lords of Justice? Call on it. Yeah, call. Um, see what they're up to. Any information on them? Why they're sending this guy around? Do we know any of that? Or? So call like our contacts and see if uh, we can what this organization does, their activities, and mm-hmm. so you want to call your contacts as opposed to the organization? Yeah. Okay. I can check out their website if they have anything. So, um, when calling your contacts, are you calling investigator stuff or are you calling the bureau type? Start with uh, just like normal like police stations type stuff. See okay. if I start there, and then I can go up if I need to. Um, you can spend some time researching this place through normal contacts. Uh, you get a whole lot of never heard of them. There's no profile on them. Uh, people can look it up and find, hey, it's a place in Rome. Okay. Uh, Nonprofit go, organization. Let's go up to a little bit higher. Still nothing? You're talking like CIA stuff? Like, yeah, like, above my pay grade stuff. Okay, above your pay grade, um, there's some possible incidents of kidnappings with them, but there's been no conclusive proof. Okay. They're kind of on a watch list, but not high priority or anything. Uh, Let's see here. And uh, I guess I'll check out the forums. Okay. Um, you quickly find out that our Lord of Justice is the current rendition of the Catholic organization of demon hunters. Hmm. Okay. That's... Yeah, you take the notes. <laughs> My hand ready not be like, look at it later, be like, oh, so they're going after the F and S, and that's the kidnappings, right? Maybe. Or new followers to recruits or something like that, yeah. To get the kidnappings to uh, or something, yeah. Okay. Okay. These are these are your crap. You know, Holidays. for the yeah, for the good of for the glory of God, we will destroy all this evilness. Oh crap! And it's a current rendition, and they can give you a list of renditions that go back roughly a thousand years. Okay. Okay, I move. I move King into a closet and shut myself in there. Okay, you're not in that uh, town. Dang it. You're you're still in San Jose. Okay. I fly okay. back and put King in the closet and shut myself in there. <laughs> Sorry. So you got a tablet. You can shut yourself into the closet, but connected to King. There you go. 
<laughs> You're in a hotel closet. Yep. Connected to the game. <laughs> yep. That's funny. You do have his hotel numbers. <sighs> okay. Well, for you. So let's head over to the hotel. Hmm. All right. Um, you make it to this hotel. You're at the hotel. All right. Um, is he's? Uh, are you guys it? checking in? Yeah, we have uh, a friend in here that we need to meet. His name is uh, Ant- Antonio Velsetti. Oh, okay. It's uh, room two hundred one. Thank you. All right, so we'll go up the elevator and go to the room. Okay, you're at the room. Put my ear against the door and see if I can hear any uh, movements or noises on the inside. You do think you hear movement. All right, I think I hear somebody in there. Should we try knocking? Yeah, sure. Why not? I thought you were going to be like your cane, like... Oh, I got my cane with me, too. I just... Got my gun first. That's ah, just more threatening. Too bad you don't got, like, that Biff Tannen, like, knuckle, like, hello, off of the Back to the Future movies, you know? Mm-hmm. You have a fist on your cane. Okay. I'm sorry. You're, like, looking at me as stupid. No. I know what you're talking about. I understand. Knock. Knock, knock, knock. Okay. So, let's do it. But first, what are we going to ask if somebody answers? That's the question. Isn't that a good idea? <laughs> Have a chat of it. Are you Antonio Vilsetti? Maybe I should step away because you might recognize me because I was the one was there at the scene and you weren't. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'll, I'll go down the hallway a little ways and... Yeah, if he comes out, you know, running... Yeah. Shoot him. <laughs> or hand to hand. Okay. Alright. Uh, I loosen up my gun click thing and uh, knock, knock, knock. Okay. There's no answer. Oh, fuck. Fudge. Fudge. I'm gonna swear less. <laughs> um, so I suppose you got one of those oct- cables that you could send under the door. No, I don't. Yeah, I could always put my phone underneath and go click, click, click. At at this point, you hear no movement, no anything. Okay. Uh, I'll try the door. Well, it's locked. Is it locked by the standard magnetic? Yeah, the little key thing. Okay. Little card key. I don't suppose uh, King has a program to replicate that uh, key lock thing. Interesting that you say that. There's just a really simple pen-like device you can make that you put up on the... Uh, there's like a little, I don't know, thing on the bottom there that you put it into and it unlocks the door. I don't I don't know, unless the DM rules. I suppose you got to roll for it though, right? Or are you just going to let them have it? Yeah, if you want to roll for like... Um, Resources. Some type of entry thing. Okay. Um, what would that be? A stealth. Okay. Let's do a stealth check. Uh, d20, right? Yeah, do a d20. Bam. <gasps> Damn it. Uh, he's fiddling with this door, but he can't get it. Okay, I'm still down the hallway a little way. Okay. Jack. Yeah. Go get a mate or something. Okay. Try to find the clean, like, laundry room where the maids might be at. Okay. You, you can find somebody. All right. I flash her my credentials and say, listen, I need you to let me into this room down the hall. Okay. okay. All right. I was like, you do what you are, please. You do have credentials. <laughs> okay. Oh, I keep forgetting that. Yeah, okay. Um, you, you get a, uh, a key an entry key for uh, this thing, and you can enter. Hmm. Right. I'll stand on, on the outside, so if you enter, they're not going to recognize me. Give okay, me let's go. Click. Opens up. Enter. Enter. 
Okay. It's a very clean room. Hmm. Is it like a standard, just plain old, like, double, two double beds hotel room, or is it kind of like more open, like it's got a little kitchen area? It's like just that? your standard room. It's got one bed. Um, desks, there's not much of anything. There's a few papers scattered over the desk, but that's about it. Hmm. Okay, I look outside the window. Okay. Um, it's a drop down. I look up. It goes up a couple stories. Okay. Any way for him to escape out? Not safely. <laughs> okay. It's risky. Mm. Is there any bushes or hedges underneath the window? No, it's uh, it's a gravelly type thing because it's a, it's a desert climate, so okay. they landscape everything with gravel. Okay. okay. So it's probably pretty easy to see if someone's walking away. Yeah. Okay. Pretty simple. But then again, it did take you a while to get a key. Yeah. All right. Anyone walking away, I suppose? Well, well, if it has gravel, is there, like, any indication of, like, somebody, like, impact or, like, uh, messed up? Uh, you want to roll perception checks? Yes. Yes. Cool. Your perception goes up. Yes. Uh, what's my perception on here? Oh, there's four. Eighteen. So that's twenty-two. You get to go up one. Is it is it eighteen that goes up one? Yep. Yes. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Score for both of us. Yeah. Very good perception. All right, so let's see if I can go through this pretty simply. Um, <laughs> no, you do not find any impact things on the gravel. It does not look like anybody climbed out of the window. Um, through paperwork on the desk, um, not a lot of interesting stuff, but there's like a list of names and prices and whatnot, and there are a few people you recognize. Number one, which is crossed out, Rio. Uh, age, unknown, status, ancient, appearance, South Caucasian. Um, wanderer, extremely dangerous. And it's like 2,500,000 euro reward. Uh, Carrie, approximately 230 years old. Status, youngling. Appearance, 13-year-old Caucasian child. Um, American spy since pre-revolutionary war. Very well connected, is often found near Yuji. Note, Carrie is not highly dangerous, but Yuji is extremely dangerous and suggested to kill... UG first. Um, 23,000 euros. UG. I believe you met him, but I'm not 100% sure, actually. Uh, A.K.A. the Fist of Roan. Crimson Samurai, Red Ninja, Flame of Death, Boy Who Does Not Burn. Hmm. Uh, age 300 plus, status, young but dangerous. Appearance, British, always dressed like a samurai. Assassin for Roan, often found with carry, generally stays in Japan. Uh, 30,000 euros. Extremely dangerous. Stanley, which is that guy you presume is burning down bridges and stuff, mm -hmm. a.k.a. Amber, age approximately 500, status on run from CIA. Appearance, 25 years old, Caucasian. Note, former CIA agent and warlord, very dangerous, government-trained assassin, 50,000 euros. Roan, a.k.a. the eldest, Master, Black Dragon, Age Unknown, Ancient, Status Unknown, Appearance, Tall Male Caucasian, Note, Current Weapon Technology Has No Effect, Immensely Powerful, Spawn of Satan, Do Not Engage, <laughs> 100 Million Euro Reward. Wow. Uh, Jarrell, aka The Eldest, Master White, Griffin, Age Unknown, Ancient, Status Unknown, Appearance, Black African Male, Note, current weapon technology has no effect. Immensely powerful spawn of Satan. Do not engage. 100,000 or 100 million euro. Um, beyond that, you're 95% sure you're not the only one in the room. Okay, so I'll check the closet. Okay. Um, Jack Walters approaches the closet. And before he gets there, he says... You put your guns away. I'll put mine. So we shoot through the door, right? Just, just <laughs> open up fire and just go away. Well, screw him. He killed Ryu. But, uh... Yeah, but at the same point, uh... 
If we bring them back to the organization, they might be able to make them. Do you shoot through the door? No. Fine. Yes. You look at me like, come on, Ben, jump off the precipice. <laughs> yes, jump off the precipice. Do the jumping off the precipice. Um, and I, before I say, that's not how it works, punk. Bam. You shoot. Yeah, might as well. Okay, we're going to start combat. Interesting. Um, so... I'm an angry, angry person. You start... You are going to shoot at a closet. Yes. You don't know where exactly... Fire your weapon. Okay. Uh, Weapon proficiency, right? Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Um, We're doing... We're starting to go into face, so roll 4d6s. Okay. Five... That's actually pretty decent. Six, four, one. Okay, so you got a... One total? One total plus... Plus weapon proficiency. So, two. Two. All right. Um, you fire into this... How does that work? Um, ones and twos are negative. Threes and fours are nothing. And five and six is a positive. So you're going to get a, a range between negative four and four. And then you add your modifier. Um, you're going to have to explain that again. It, it it's confusing because we're using regular D6s. But if we actually had fate dice, it would just be a negative... A positive and nothing. Mm. So, I'll explain as we go on. Um, You fire at this door and nothing happens. Now, you get the assassin who's going to fire back at you. Oh, lovely. Yeah, very lovely. Okay, um, that's nothing. That's a failure, that's a success. That is a zero. So, you have to defend against a um, plus two. And you would use your dexterity for this. Okay, so nothing minus one success and dexterity, one success. Okay. So I get a two. So you get a two, he get a two, that's a zero. So at this point, you can either fire or do something else. Okay, so since he did technically shoot at the thing, can I actually see where he's at in there with, through the bullet holes and the debris? Okay. Um, I'm assuming this is kind of like a, a small folding closet type thing. You can roll me a perception. Use your d20. Seven. Okay, you don't know whose bullet holes is who. But you would think, like, if they shot, like, a couple oh. rounds, if the stuff would splinter, and I would have, like, a people maybe that much, I can see kind of where he's at in there. Mm, this is only two shots. Um, I'm assuming that this is not lightly splintering so much as just a hole. Because mm-hmm. this is not made out of sheetrock. Sheetrock would probably just made a hole, but if it's any type of fiber wood or fake wood, it would splinter a little bit. I'd say you'd have to give it a few more rounds. Since you rolled a two. Does he know... He knows... Uh, okay, where in the room are we positioned? Wherever you want. So well, I went to go walk open the door. I probably jumped out of the way while you fired, so I'm closer to the closet physically, right? Sure. Okay, what can I do to, like, open up the closet so that I can see where he's at and then attempt a uh, grapple? Um... Yeah, you can do that. You can roll your four D6s and then add your strength modifier, which is a plus three. So, ones and twos are a negative, threes and fours don't matter, and five and sixes are positive. So you've got a two plus three. Mm -hmm. So Um, I have a five. That's a plus five. He is going to attempt to escape you. Wow. Yay. No. (laughs) Um, He gets a... Three. So you got a what? I got a five. Five. Um, you got this guy. This guy looks nothing like the guy you were after. Okay. This isn't um, the guy. This is a Middle Eastern looking guy. 
Um, he has a pistol with a silencer and um, short cropped hair, very Middle Eastern looking. And he has a white stone around his neck. Yeah, he's got the, the pendant with a white stone. All right, so I yell to uh, Dan to come over and uh, handcuff this guy and help me restrain him. I do such. So we put him in the uh, desk chair and we got him restrained and handcuffed. All right, so I'm going to roll a uh, escape check for him first off. I want you both to roll a strength you're basically doing active opposition versus him. Okay, so just trying to. Ugh. Oh yeah. Oh, get a beat of three. Okay, so that's nothing. That's negative. I got a four. Because that's two positives. That minus is up plus my strength. Yeah, you uh, you t- you prevent this guy from getting away. You get his gun away from him. Yeah, I don't help at all. You're like, maybe you should. uh, No, never mind. Yeah, if you give me a minute, I'm going to pause and save this. And we're back. Okay. So you have a Middle Eastern guy. Um, He does not appear to be hit. He does appear to be quite disappointed that he got caught. And he has no idea who the fuck you guys are. And we have no. In fact, he says, Who are you? (laughs) <laughs> and we say, who are you? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'm looking for... Um... He stares at you angrily. So, um... This isn't your room, is it? No. This isn't yours, either. Yeah? Do you have a permit for that gun? Well, first and foremost, uh, a silencer... California. I don't think there's permits for this shit in California. Suppressors are illegal anyway to have. In unless, California? Well, like in most states, unless you have a certain I'm pretty sure they're going to be illegal in California. Oh, excellent. Um, Do you have a permit for your gun? Actually, yes. i pull out the badge, flash it real quick before you can read it all. Okay. Well, he sees it's your police, and his expression changes a little to more confusion. <laughs> and says, why are you here? The answer, the, the question is, why are you here? I was waiting for Antonio Valsetti. What are you here for? We were trying to find Antonio Valsetti. And what he did he do that you are looking for him? He killed a close uh, friend of ours. Why are you looking? Why are you looking for him? That's my job. To look for him? Oh, to be with him? Are you with him or against him? I work for a bureau that is tracking their locations and, if at all possible, eliminating them. Oh dear. Your pendant, explain it. Oh, he's an F nor Ness thing returned, right? No, I'm not. Oh. I'm surprised you know about them, though. <laughs> my guardian was killed a long time ago. Your what? My guardian was oh. killed a long time ago. Hmm. I don't think we have any information about the guardians, do we? Return. Okay. He's going to try to escape? Or are you just doing that for fun? Roll perception check. Oh, man. Ball buster over here. Ooh, 17. 18. Okay. I get to go up 21. (laughs) You're an (laughs) uncan. My goodness gracious. I got 23. Come on, dice. Pick it up. And uh, you can totally tell that you can hear that faint click. He's got his cuffs open. Okay, so. I kick him over. <laughs> I 
I, he hesita- I hesitate to make it real strict. <laughs> <laughs> he kicks him over. I quickly uh, restrain him again and find okay. whatever he's using to pick the lock. Okay, it's just a little paper clip. I right, take it and I'd be like, no. <laughs> I thought I had more information on the stones. Okay. So, let's go to this again. What's a guardian? Not for a minute, so certain. Here's a question for you. What is an FNR? Isn't that a gorgeous question? What is a human, really? So, for intimidation, I take off his pendant. Okay. Then he no longer has it. He glares at you angrily. I hold it in front of him, give us answers, I'll give it back. Why don't you answer something? We have the uh, upper hand here. You might have the upper hand, but that does not matter. Oh, yay, you caught me. What does that do for you? Who are you, and what the hell do you want? Mm. (sighs) Go ahead. Me? Uh, You're the guy he's glaring at. I'm going to try to intimidate him. Go oh. for it. Well, what do I roll for that since... Are we just still doing like the d Roll a d20. Is there anything I can look up about the guardians? Sure, you can look up about guardians. Roll the 20. Research. Okay. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay, what are you doing to intimidate this guy? I am going to find a pressure point around his neck that causes him a great deal of pain. Like a, almost like a torture, just like, sink right in. Okay, well, you, he re- you reach for him, and he knows exactly what you're going for. He still managed to get it. Um, you quickly find out that a guardian is essentially... The returned are often given to children that need help. Mm-hmm. And that is where a lot of the Bureau gets its human associates. So basically this is a kid that was possibly raised by a, judging by the white stone as opposed to the black stone, a spirit. To need help. And then... Basically at some point this was an abused child. Oh, the the who white is, stone was the... Who was given a spirit to watch over him. Okay. And there I am doing kung fu moves on him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So does the intimidate work? Well, yeah, it works. But uh, what was the question that goes along with your intimidate? What he was asking... Well, well was, I'm, I was doing the research. Was, I pulled up my... Well, you were asking something before that. What? Oh, I, I, I did research on, on the Guardian, so... Well, no, no, you did something before that. You were asking him a question that he refuses to answer, and I was trying to help you out by... Well, wasn't it... Um, was he doing... Here, was, why is he... After, what's his face? Yeah, yeah. so you got... This thing was like, ah! So why are you after him? It's my job to kill hunters. It's your job to kill hunters, huh? Yes. Okay, I let up a little bit. I wonder what organization. Yeah. Are you able to tell you who you who which organization you're under? I work for the bureau. Oh fuck. So I'm going to you work for the bureau. I know. That's I'm what gonna, I'm saying. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm going to quickly uh, Frack. call up the brewer to identify and make sure. Okay. Uh, you get a hold of somebody in the brewer. What are you asking them? Uh, this person's... I forget his name already. I don't think we got his name yeah, at we did. all. No. Did you? No. no. I'm going to take a photo of okay. his face and click, send it to him and say, can you identify him? Is he part of the brewer? Okay. Um... There's a minute where they have to search through their database and send you a reply. Um, a little thing says um, his name is Thaddeus Ajid. He is a. Do I have a list down what he is? No. 
Um, he is a counter hunter. Counter. But he's part of the bureau. Yeah, works for the bureau. Yeah. All right. While they have on the phone, I will let them explain who we are to him. I put the phone up to his ear. Okay. Um, does the bureau know why you're here? No. But we just ran into each other when we were in a stalemate. Okay. Yeah, more of a, we kicked his butt. So they explained to him who you guys are. And that we're on the same side. He seems to tense up, or not tense up, uh, relax. And then he he, he says, okay. Um, He says something in a different language. And he looks at me and says, why are you here? (laughs) Okay, so we shut off the phone with the bureau. You know, disconnect. <laughs> not, 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 not like, like, dook. But we, like, say goodbye to it and thank them. <laughs> As they're going, why the hell are you over there? We're like, bye. <laughs> I give him back his pendant by around his neck and I undo the handcuffs. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. He's gonna... it on, rubs his wrist. We are here because our wrist. friend that we were working with that helped us out got killed by this guy. Your friend got killed by this guy. And who is your friend? Ryu. This guy's got a Ryu. Ryu. Yep. I hold the, the paper with it because it was crossed off, right? I said Ryu. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm supposed to kill the guy who killed Ryu, as well as a dozen other people. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was in here waiting for him to show up. Our apologies. And now there's a whole bunch of people in here, and now bullet holes, and I assume the cops are coming because somebody heard bullet shots, and you hear sirens. So, that's fucked. Oops. What can we do to help you uh, catch this guy, because we want to get him as well? Well, if he ain't here, I do have a theory of where he possibly is. Okay. There's a spot I was going to have to go anyway. Glaring at me. <laughs> so glaring at you. See, at least I didn't go in there like <laughs> I'm like just tackled him trying to get information, you know. Oh, I thought it was the guy. I would know he killed been, Ryu. That would have been great if you killed the assassin that was supposed to keep the story going. Oh. Oops. <laughs> hey. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> okay. Um so you do have police officers coming up. Yep. Um, I can Let's see. Can we call someone to say, hey, don't have them come blazing in with guns because the situation is currently under control. Yeah. You can um, just grab all and they can send you straight to the dispatch that's yeah. talking to the guy on the yeah. ground. Um, they can come up and not be guns blazing. Yep. Um, World diplomacies. Do I even have anything in diplomacy? I do. I have. I'm good. Well, I have my uh, modifier. That's it. So I have plus one. Well, when you've been good. rolling, you don't need it. Yeah, we might need you to do it. Oh, <laughs> so it takes you several hours to talk your way out of this shit. <sighs> um, I got a nine. Oh. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like pointing at him. He's like, it's not his fault. Oh, I do have it. So written as a counter. Shot- <laughs> and then you didn't think to this, and but yes, well, I... all right. So um, he explains that there is a warehouse where he is sure that several of these people are holed up, and that is kind of their base of organization. Mm-hmm. It's where he was going next after he got this guy, mm-hmm. because this guy is a floater, and he goes all over the place. Okay. And if he's not here in the hotel, which he's been waiting a long time, and now that there's people here. He's trying to not come back. Well, at the very least, we can... So he wants help to go snoop out this place. Well, we own that much. I'm going to save this. Uh, it starts recording there, and it doesn't record over. Nice. <laughs> I love this new microphone. And that's all my notes I got for here, but I know what's going on because I thought about this stuff. Really good. Okay. So, all I need to remember is his name is Thaddeus... Often goes by Ted. Ajid. He's a middle, middle, middle Eastern looking guy, but uh, he clearly speaks perfect English, so he's probably born and raised in America. And you wanted to kill him. You were out for Oh, come on, come on. 
I didn't want to kill him. Just the other guy. This guy got in the way, and I'm a terrible person, I know. You almost killed the assassin. Who's supposed to kill the assassin? Okay. Essentially, this is your counter terrorist. Okay. Not legitimate at all. I think once the point where the Ephenorness people started coming back in the world saying hi, everything just kind of went moot. Yeah. I mean, a good portion of it went moot. The other portion was like, let's no, not, no, no, let's not do this. Let's not forget your impending nuclear disaster. Yeah, that too. That's fine. It'll be, it'll just get into a vault and be, be perfect. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be okay. <laughs> okay. So, you roll up to this warehouse. Um, looks pretty blank. I mean, mm. nothing descript about it. Very basic warehouse. So, a couple entrances. One on each side of the building. There's one on top of the building. Um, he suggests splitting up. Mm. Um, he also says don't hesitate but then again you do have badges so he's not sure how that's going to work out if you want to go into the formal way well he goes uh, a less formal way Mm. that's fine we can do that Okay. so which Um, entrance would you like to enter in also do we have any bluetooth devices to say hey I'm assuming that a modern day detect homicide detective or a police officer or something would have modern day okay. stops. I just want to make sure that we know where he is. You have communications. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, Skype failed. Oh no. Conding, conding, conding. What happened to just radios? Yeah. Radio shield. Just did the team speaker ventrilo. Oh, okay. Anyway, all right. Let's go. Uh, no, gun, no guns blazing this time. <laughs> okay, is there any... It's a good thing he's a better shot. Uh, he went in there with his sword. That might have been a bit of a damage. <laughs> a little bit better with my sword. Um, okay, so is there any way that we can... look in around there, or... Perception Ooh, rules! Do they have Wi-Fi? Ooh. I turned on my phone's Wi-Fi detector. You can put on a perception and a research. Okay. We both doing this. First one is perception. Okay. Um, sixteen. I used all my good luck up. Uh, eight for perception. And then. And that's why your luck's up because you get plus six. <laughs> I'm finally rolling. Eight in the, okay, eight in the research. Fourteen. You get a plus one to research. Congratulations. It's too bad this all goes away after this. Yeah. Might as well just. Yeah, I got a sixteen in research. Okay. Um, so yes, you do find a Wi-Fi thing. Um, mm-hmm. If you want to do some like hacking stuff, maybe you can get into some of the security cameras. Beep, beep, beep. As oh. far as perception checks on finding anything out of the ordinary, no. Um, this thing's pretty nondescript. There's no clues to give you really how much traffic's through here or anything. It doesn't look very used. Mm. But then again, um, so you can break into the... Security camera. Thanks. I do so. And you can see yourself on the camera. And you look up and you're like, oh poop. There's me. Um, other things that you can find on the camera. Um, some guy sleeping in a bunk. Mm-hmm. Um, some guy just walking around. There's a room full of what appears to be cages. Um, there's a bloating area that just seems to be pretty empty. I mean, there's a few crates and boxes in there. And um, there's probably a couple, like a break room and another room that doesn't have anybody in it. There does not seem to be a lot of people. Okay. All right. I inform the counter assassin, assassin. <laughs> okay. About the few, th- the, uh, well, I guess everything there. He notes that information. Okay. We want to go in. Does we both want to go in, or do is just one of us wants to stay in the shadow kind of thing? Well, one's staying in the shadow, and he's probably already in. Yeah. Let's go. All right. I 
to use my strength modifier plus down the door. No. I'm just kidding. I'm so sorry. See, I'm not the only one that does it. I got it. <clears throat> you need to bust down a door? No. Um, let's go to what we think is the official door to go to. Okay. Is there like a door buzzer or something? Yeah. Yep. You can go up to the main. Let's do this. Okay. Diplomacy again. Zzz. Door buzzer. Door buzzer. Zzz. Okay. Um, you probably have to hit it a couple times. Okay. But eventually somebody comes up there. Is It looks like you kind of... Curiously, like, not sure if you should open the door because he doesn't know he's going to get mugged or something. <laughs> Two random guys just pop up. A guy wearing a trench coat and a fedora. And yeah. A guy wearing, like, cutting-edge clothing and a uh, serious that, goatee. Like, he puts the chain on the door before opening it up a few inches. Can I help you? I take a wire cutter. Bell <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to do this? Yeah, you do it. Why? I've been doing a lot of stuff. I'm not, your I'm not a talker. That's okay. Use your gruff. My gruff. Gruff nature. Uh, let's see here. What can I use? Just. Hey, we're with the police. Well, we that... need to ask you questions. Oh, man, I got a good idea. Okay. All right. So he says, "What do you want?" Right? Yep. I'd be like, "Hi, we're the police." Flash the badge. We heard some uh, gunshots or commotion going on around here. We're just investigating the area. I haven't heard anything. But through our jurisdiction, we are allowed to investigate certain areas of this. So would you comply? Well, you can investigate the area. You can't investigate the building without a warrant. Okay. So we'll just be around looking. Okay. Well, good luck. If, uh, if I hear anything, I'll let you know. Okay. Okay, we walk away. I got an idea. Take out my tablet. Okay. Do 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 research warrants. Do 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 do. Pull up a little warrant. Okay. Fill in a few things. You know, I just put in John Doe. Blah blah blah. Okay. I assume your uh, your cruiser has a printer in them. They print out stuff in there, right? I'll just use the tablet, right? Oh. Yeah, but that's not really technically official, so you're forging something. So Does he know that? I know, but... tablet? I think you need a paper. Well, no, 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 no. He's going to print it off. But we're, he's we're, he's forging something. Mm-hmm. So would, wouldn't you have to roll something to see if it actually turned out right? Well, you're going to have to roll against his perception. Okay. Um, unless we want to try and get an actual warrant. That takes a while, right? Yeah, usually you have to, don't you have to go to, like, a judge or something like that in order to get a warrant? Yeah, it takes a few hours. Well, one of us can go and actually get the warrant, and then the other one can stay by and, like, investigate. <laughs> well, um, Or we can phone it in. Well, the, uh, the other guy calls and says, um, is one of your cameras cut? Cameras? I look up on my... Okay, yes, one of the cameras has been cut. One of them is cut, yes. Like, I'll try not to do that too often. Okay. Um, we're still not in. Uh, one of the guys answered the door. Um, do I see that someone's still sleeping? or? Yep. Okay. So we have at least two people in there. One who answered the door, one who's sleeping. Okay, so I got an idea then. Okay. It doesn't matter to me. One of us should uh, attempt to... Like, find a window or a door that seems flimsier. Mm -hmm. Try to break in while the other one is drawing the attention outside the investigating, looking around, causing a scene, you know, flashlights flashing, so that they know somebody's outside so that they're distracted. Hmm. Or we could just bust in the door, I guess. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay. All right, well... Well, you you could always go back to the... There's a side door. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to... Well... What do you want to do? You want us both going? And you're pretty sure one of the cameras is on that side door and there's nobody over there. I hacked into the cameras, right? Yeah. Can I turn it off? Roll me research. Research. Um, 12. Should I try to roll one? Sure. (laughs) Go ahead. Do it. I can't get this stupid thing. Research 19. He tells you you missed the backslash. (laughs) (laughs) What? 
camera's with us. The camera goes out. Ugh. Okay, this camera's off. If you go around the end, I'll distract the guy at the front door. All right, so that means I would have to do a stealth, right, to try to open the door quietly? Correct. All right. To pick the lock. All right. You go distract and I'll attempt uh, the stealth, so. Will do. And that's a 17. You're in. How do I distract him? I don't know. How do you distract him? I come back to the door. Um... And knock a little bit more, uh, not, uh, not furious, what's the... Urgently. Urgently? Okay. Yep. Opens the door. Yes, officer? Um, there's... I need to use, um, your facilities real quick. Uh, I, uh, like, do you have t- t- paper towels and, and, um, any band-aids or whatnot? My partner just got jumped by the the person that has been shooting uh, that we came and reported about. Is, I get a medical kit and he just runs back. Of course, the door's still locked but it's still open. Is he behind like a crate going... <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to wait 30 seconds he comes back with an actual medical kit. Okay. And then he realizes he can't stuff it through the door. So he shuts the door pulls off the chain and hands you a medical kit. Don't you jump him. Oh, come on now. I just got in on discreetly. Okay, all right. All right. Um, uh, I might need your help with this. <laughs> You're doing the stealth rolls and he's doing the stuff. Yeah, I, I might need your help with this. Can you come with me? Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> I grab him and we start running away. Okay, he he, he runs with you. Okay. <laughs> you're gonna take him out. What? Take him out? Yeah, you're gonna oh. hit him upside the head. Aren't you? No, I was just trying to track him. Because we're running now, because we were gone for a little while. So it's going to take us a bit to get to okay. the spot. Let's follow Matt, or Jack Walters for a few minutes. <laughs> yeah. I see what you did there. You forced me into the action. You're yes, like, I did. All You're right, welcome. so obviously I opened and closed the door very quietly, and mm-hmm. I'm kind of like lurching behind a crate. Okay, give Hannah a crate. Um, one way is that open loading bear book. Well, loading bay area another way is just the door I remember we have YouTube okay so I'll contact our uh, Thaddeus okay and is that his name right yep Ted there we go that'll be easier uh I, I made it in uh Dan is distracting the one guard that uh, answers the door you get a pause and then just I took down the guy who's sleeping in the bunk. Good to know. I suppose you can hear this over the whole mm-hmm. thing, too. Yeah. He's not the guy I was looking for. All right, did you see anybody else in here that I need to worry about? Not yet. Is there anybody walking about? He's got the camera. Oh, yeah, but didn't he send the information to him? He just told him oh, okay. some stuff. Okay, but I'm only good for a little bit because I'm probably going to be out of the okay, Wi-Fi range. For perception to see if I can okay. hear or see anybody moving around, which is eighteen. You faintly hear crying. All right, very. It's coming from behind that door. Very stealthily, I approach the door. Okay. And it's obviously somebody. Like, is it a girl, guy, young girl? Okay, you want to open the door? Um, what does it sound like? Does it sound female or it male? It sounds like a young child crying. Okay. Um, like roll. muffled crying. I'm going to roll a stealth to try to open up the door quietly. Go for it. Ten. You absolutely... F- oh, that's a seven. I thought that was a one. <clears throat> um, it's not too loud, but it's not no, too quiet. No, it, it does not cause any massive distraction. Um, when you open this door... There is a row of cages. These are like big dog kennel type cages. Sort kind of like what I saw in the camera a little bit. Yeah, that's exactly what we saw on the camera. Except you're seeing it at the front angle as opposed from a side angle. And um, in one of them is... It's got to be like this three-year-old boy. Mm. And he's just staring at you with a kind of this blank expression. And then and the one next to him is probably like a ten-year-old girl... And she's bound 
and has a gag in her. And the next one has basically another 10-year-old girl, and she's the same way, but she's bawling, sort of, or crying or something. Okay. All right, like let's uh, let's go back out to Ben. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, Dan. Dan. Yes. Um, okay. How much of this do I get over the... Uh... Well, no, the only thing you got over is that I made it in. I was trying to talk to him to okay. see if he noticed anything. So you know that the sleeping guard is now disposed of. Yeah. And you also got this guy going, where is he? I don't know. He was over here. This is This is where we got jumped. And uh, start looking for any blood spots. We will have to follow those. Okay. He kind of looks around. And says, you call it reinforcements, right? Yeah, they're on the way. And uh, I try and. Um... This is freaking me out, man. <laughs> <laughs> what are you do? And I say, well, you know, how's it going over there? <clears throat> you know, which could be meant for the Bluetooth. Mm-hmm. Or, uh, or the guy that I'm with. I don't, I don't see anything. What do you see? Oh. Nothing. I mean, like I've gotten to the cage room. Uh, there's a few young kids in here. You might want to, uh, might want to get rid of the guys so we have nothing else to uh, stand in our way to get these out of here. I walk up behind them. Okay. And I use the uh, stun gun. Stun gun on a guy who's not paying attention. Yes. You are going to roll um, your 4Ds plus your weapon proficiency. These not ones. Don't roll ones, you little... Or twos. Or twos. Um, <laughs> nothing. Nothing plus one. Plus one. Okay. You stun him and he goes down. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Cuffs, click, click. Okay. He, he's pretty... <laughs> and I exactly sure. And obviously that stops electrocuting you. So mm-hmm. that now he's bitching and like, What the fuck is going on? Yeah. I'm turning you in for blah, blah, blah. This is racism or something. But, oh, it is? Profiling. I'm part Italian. <laughs> Profiling. There Profiling. You there you go. You're part Italian. You're probably whiter than me. <laughs> you don't get the choice of profiling, punk. All right. Well, I uh... I'm fighting this in court. <laughs> you gonna restrain him? He is. Yeah, restrain. I threw some cuffs on him. All right. Put it, and then uh, I guess oh, pretty far away. Um. The idea is either I drag him back or have him walk back, uh, but I don't want him extra cuffs on his legs, too. Okay, well, you can stand him up and push him to where you gotta go and then cuff him to something. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I'll do. Okay, that's gonna take a couple minutes. Yeah. Um, back to me. There's um, children. Alright, so these are the standard, like, if you were at a bigger kennel, like a animal shelter, where. These are essentially a large dog. Cage or dog dog kennel, yeah, uh, metal, not the plastic ones. Yeah, so and they're stacked up. So there's like a two high layer. So are the locks on them seem pretty simple, or are they complex? They're just your basic lock, key thing. Uh, is there any like a hammer or like something blunt, at, like a sledgehammer? I can just it's anywhere near. Well, you did just pick the lock to the door. Well, yeah, I figure you know I would have to roll. Um. Unless you don't make me roll. I would give you a perception check for finding heavy objects, I guess. I don't know. I'll just try to... Oh, I'll, I'll, you know what? You know it's a good idea? Um, all these buildings have the fire extinguishers in the case. So it's not a hammer, but it's a big heavy metal cylinder. Okay. I quickly locate the red area and I grab it. And okay. I attempt to, as I do it, show the, the kids that I'm a cop so that they may feel a little bit more quiet. Okay, and break so the locks. there's a three-year-old, a ten-year-old gag girl, and a okay. another ten-year-old gag girl who's crying. Um, the one in the middle that's not crying, it's gag, seems to understand. 
the other one's still crying, and the little kid's just like looking at you like you're interested. Can I reach in and remove the gag? Is that or is, would my hand be able to get in there? I think so. All right, so the one in the middle that's not crying, the ten-year-old, I'm gonna remove for a gag. Okay. Just very fool. She's wrong. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> oh, that's uh, some language there. I've been stuck in this cage for three weeks. Listen, you explain to me what's going on here. I might help you. Oh, you might help her. This, you this... must. Vidya, fine. And other French swears I can't think of because I don't know French. Well, you gotta look at it this way. We're here for something completely. This is not what we're here for. We're making sure that. Why are you giving me that? You, look? you, you flashed the badge. All right. So, just gonna say. We were kidnapped. You are a cop. Get us out of here. With all the things with the younger, stunted growth girls and stuff like that, I'm making sure. Yeah, but. But you're like. Hi, I'm police. I may or may not let you out of here, depending on how you, uh, you know... What exactly is going on first? You gotta think, were they experimented on? Contagious? What's going on? You gotta find that out before you release every single one. Yeah, I think I'd just be like, are you okay? No, I like my way better. Okay, well, I'm not there, so... <laughs> Wait, I have the Bluetooth. I go, what the fuck are you doing? Okay. The Bluetooth um, is not on. What? It's not always constantly broadcasting. I thought it was. I, I can turn it on and off. Oh. Yeah, I was thinking turn it on and off. Anyway, um, well, you do get something over the blue nut that says, I got the fucker. <laughs> oh. Awesome. All from right. him or real for me? From I, the... Uh, I, had, okay, I apologize to the girl for saying... Maybe that, but ask her the question about the guy, a little kid, a little three-year-old that's not crying, not doing anything. Is there anything wrong that she can tell me? He's like three days old. Well, usually at this point, they're crying, they want out, he's just standing blankly, he said. Could you please let us out, Steve Blair? We will. Uh, Just give me a second. I unfasten the uh, lock and open up the cage. Okay, well, it's a cage lock. Yeah. I, I lock pick it. Well, okay, you do lock pick it. This one I had it just in case. Okay. The, you got plenty of time to lock pick this thing. So all right. So I lock difficult. pick all three, and then I open up, and then I. Okay. So you let the um the middle one out first. The middle one out, and she's gonna directly try to help the little little one. And then I'll try to uh, calm down and unrestrain the crying sobbing one. Okay. Um, the crying sobbing one continues to cry and sob. So, is there something that I can do for comfort here? Diplomacy? Yeah, diplomacy. Like, charisma. There we go. You charisma. Try to get her to stop crying as much. Probably roll one and she'll cry even more. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, yeah, she does, um, she settles down a little bit. Okay. I love my mommy. <laughs> Alright, so, um, I think at this point in time, you can now enter the building. Okay. Um, if you check your tablet, there's still the person sleeping, mm. or he was sleeping. He seems to be getting up now. Okay. I thought we said that he killed him. No, that was someone he, else. He got your Antonio guy. Well, no, earlier he says that guy that was sleeping, I got him. He didn't say the guy was sleeping. I swear you said that. He just said, I got the fucker. Well, no, earlier, earlier. Before, before we, that, because yeah. he said, um... There's one guy that was sleeping. Oh, okay. Away. You're right. But there is another person. One more here. person in there. You see I see walking on. through the. You see walking through the thing. Oh. oh, guys! Oh, guys! Got, got another one. Where is he located? Um, a room. It, in a room. I can't tell you anything. He's walking up to a door. I can see you, Dan. Um, and can I do a perception roll to see if the footsteps I mean, sound close? Okay. Jack. Um, roll a perception, and I'm gonna give you a negative for the sobbing girl. All right. Okay, despite the sobbing girl <laughs> and the little French girl's like, shut the fuck up, you stupid human. Um, oh, Ethanor. Returned person. Oh. You hear this door, you know, you hear the footsteps behind the door, and then the, the knob 
Click. And no, it's like right next to me. It's uh, going into this It's room. opening up right there. All right, so do I have, with that perception roll, do I have time to pull out the gun? And that, you are still carrying a fire extinguisher, I think. Well, it was sitting right next to me, right to the camera. Okay, so here you go. All right, so I'm going to pull out the gun and aim at the uh, at the door that's opening up. Wait. Okay. I'm not going to fire. Okay. He walks in to go check on these girls. He sees you. He goes, holy shit. <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> not enough time, huh? Slaps the door. Runs. We got a runner. I say over the headset. Okay. And you hear, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Oh. Okay. Right, so well, should we call the, uh, not the police department, obviously, because there's a guy killing people. He's well, assassinating. he can just, he just, can just be, you know, disappear to the bureau. But then what would we be doing here to the police? We had no official warrant. We just kind of walked in there and... If we have probable cause... Okay. You're entering this building, right? Mm Mm-hmm. All right. And you were looking at the girl. You could have stopped the little child about the deal. Um, You're in the other room before you get to the cage thing. There is a 10-year-old girl walking out with this uh, 3-year-old looking boy. Hello. The little little boy goes, Hello. (laughs) He goes, Hello. Uh, Police, Dan C. McCobb. Uh, I'm here making sure these fuckers aren't screwing with anyone. There is little girl and I need help. Okay. Where are you going? France. Hmm. Uh, I'm with the Bureau. bureau. Uh, I'm on official business with uh, FNOR, FNS, returned stuff. Um. The little boy goes, FNR, FNS? (laughs) So. And she goes, okay. Uh. All right, well, how about you stay here with us, and uh, we need you to give us a full description of anything. And uh... Okay, but you should help little girl, because uh, she's she been locked in cage a few while, and not so good. Okay. These are the two that I let out, right? You let all three of them out, yeah. 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 But but these these to... are the two that were not bawling or crying. So I'm still in the other room trying to make sure that she can stop crying. Yes. Okay. She's still bawling. All right. Um, I stay with those two, and uh, I send a call in for the police to come over. Okay, with... Well, they're trying to get out the door. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm in front of them because I don't want them to leave. they got to try and help us with... Yeah, he's probably like the door deadbolt. Well, no, it's more like... I need you to stay here. You know, this is official police bureau business, and um, we need descriptions of things if you can help us with that. And uh... so, eventually, you probably see me walk out with this girl, kind of draped in my arms, because still sobbing. Yeah, still. <laughs> and she, she's just kind of like big now because I mean she's big. Ask the little boy, what's your name? He looks at you and goes, What's your name? I'm what's your name? Dan C. Macab. He goes, I'm Dan C. Macab. <laughs> Is your name Dan too? Name Dan too? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> name... Name Dan C. What's your name? Dan C. Okay. Your thing went into sleep mode. Oh no! Does it keep on recording? Apparently. Yes. Okay. Um, Mike. Okay. We get the police over there. Okay, police are there. Okay. Um, and, uh, 
asks uh, the non-crying ten-year-old uh, what her name is. My name is Genevieve. And the little boy repeats, My name Genevieve. Name. Name Dan C. Macab. <laughs> name Genevieve. Looks at you and goes, Name. Jack Walters. Jack Walters. Close enough. That's Jen. Walters. Do you know what his name is? Asked the 10 year old non crying person. Well, he repeats, Do you know what his name is? He says, He has no name. He's like three days old. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Where were you taking from? Okay, well, the little boy goes, Where are you taking from? Okay. Uh, Basically, he repeats any words he hears. And as this goes on, he starts to put words together. Mm. I take up my phone and start recording. Okay. As it goes along. So... uh, Ask her where she's from. Um, uh, it's France. Hey, Buddha. Okay. Um, and how did you get here? Uh, I, 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 airplane. Did they kidnap you? No. I, well, not on airplane. I was in airport um, Saint Anton. San Antonio. Mm-hmm. I visit America, and then, um, then yes, keep, keep kidnap. Okay. Um, and you said the boy is only three years old. The three days old. Or. Mm. Does the boy look three? He looks three years old. Okay, three years old. <laughs> <laughs> and my brain is going this is crazy this is crazy well not as crazy as some of the other stuff but whatever um okay is there anything anyone we can contact um for you for me I am me you can only contact me family yeah I family have... or no uh... no no family okay any contacts, just like people you were under, um, people that took care of you, it's just someone that uh, needs to know that where you are. Uh, bakery in Bordeaux? Here in Francais? Okay. He gives me food every once in a while? Okay. I write that down, whatever that was, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what about the little boy? Um, she thinks about it for a second and she like pats him on the head it's like my family oh okay um Jack could you take over here for a little bit no you're doing good Jack take over here for a little bit I'm going to Jack, make a call take over here for a little bit mm-hmm. so a call. basically you call? did you call what? Did you call uh, the police? I, I called the police, and um, but I also figured that maybe we should send a text or something to Carrie. Okay. I'll, uh... Unless you want to send the text, and I'll just keep on talking to them. No. I'm going to ask the... Uh, is the okay. Third, is yeah, the second... I third? forgot about him. He shows up at the, this point. Okay. And he's oh. watching you with these kids, and he's like, I will take them. Okay. Uh, what about the third one? Oh, do you know her name? The little girl's crying? Yeah. yeah. I don't know her name. Oh, she fucking cries. <laughs> Alright. See, is there a... What? Your charisma is a lot higher than mine. Yeah. Do you want to attempt to, like, calm her down and see if you can get a name out of her? I think... Uh, okay. Yeah, if you want to get a name out of her, go ahead. Okay. Um, charisma or 
Yeah, that'd be uh, charisma. Thirteen. Her name is Lucy. I say if we want diplomacy, it'd be another plus. Yeah, two to be diplomacy. Yeah. But her name's Lucy. Any other questions you got for her? Um, I need uh, contact. How uh, smart are you at ten? What? What grade is ten? Ten years is five, approximate. Fifth grade? Yes. Oh, okay. So she probably know her last name. Yep. Last name, number, uh, um, parents' name. Maybe not the number, but maybe the parents' name. Maybe even the street she lives on. What city? Definitely, definitely a city. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Why wouldn't she have her phone number? Yeah, they teach kids that. Like well, that's like like, it's like first and second grade stuff. Well, see, I look at this my family, and my mm. family changes phone number a month. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, I don't know. Um, I suppose it's the difference between cell phones and landlines. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, I, re- I still remember my original landline. Yeah. Ditto. But my mother's phone number changes every freaking month. Okay. Well, I'll ask for any contact, um, and then... Okay, you can, find, the you can find some contact okay. information for her. Okay. Contact... Info, parents, um, and I'll get on the you know, tell any dispatcher say I, we need to get a contact uh, in with these people. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna call up the bureau okay. and ask for. I can't remember her name now. Carrie of America. Carrie of America. Carrie of America. Uh, and explain the situation that we've caught and well, was assisted by Ted. Ted. That we've uh, eliminated the one that killed. Uh... Okay, you did not originally tell her that you were going to go after this. No, so we kind of did a vendetta. That's okay. She is both pleased <laughs> and mad and pissed. And you get a chewing that you're supposed to be off, like preventing nuclear disaster, and not worrying about an ancient who was supposed to be able to take care of herself. <laughs> As I put them down the phone, it's like red hot from all the like, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> put it in a, like an ice cooler. <laughs> hmm. uh, we got a butt chewing, but uh, she's kind of happy too. Suppose back to the mission after this, huh? Yep. I um, also start to... Let's see, I have the contact for Carrie in America. Do I have... Because I need to start telling them, okay, we, the assassins, of course, are after you guys. Um, there's a long list, and, you know... They already know. Okay. That's why Ted's there. Okay. All right. Just... Yes. Yeah, Cinder, be more... Assassins have been after me for 200 years! <laughs> <laughs> well, they finally got one of you, so... Well, they've been after her for a thousand years. Mm-hmm. And you can think back and realize, hey, she was pretty paranoid. Yeah. That whole not being able, not wanting to stay in one spot for too long was a thing. Mm. Okay. All right, is that it for this episode? Pretty close. Okay. I mean, you let Ted take the two, the little French girl and the kid that's just learning English right now? Yes. Okay. I say goodbye. And then... D- GM note, they have no idea what they are. Oh, lovely. The little girl's like five. The little boy's three days old. Oh, I thought the other one was ten. Oh, she looks ten. Oh, okay. She's five years old. Okay. Um. Speaks French and English. She's five years old. Yeah. She got on a plane and came to America by herself. Mm Mm-hmm. Um. All right. I'm sorry to all the French people for completely fucking up French. We're sorry. Okay. Not really. But... (laughs) <laughs> Sounds good. Nobody listens to us right now, anyway. So there's no rhyme with this. Will be the episode. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, um, let's okay wrap everything up here. With sure we got a ton of paperwork to fill out. And... All right. So you wrap up everything, and you're staying in a hotel in San Jose. You are heading back to San Francisco in the morning. Um, Carrie comes to visit you. Oh dear. Oh. I'm working on King. And she's like, okay. You guys are supposed to be you know, preventing nuclear disaster. Mm-hmm. We are getting really thin down to the wire, and it's good that you saved some kids. Okay? I, I get it. And took someone off the streets that was 
trying to assassinate And, and killed you. a hunter. Yeah. We have been dealing with hunters for thousands of years. Okay. Nuclear disaster is... And she gets cut off because the phone rings. And she picks on the phone and says, Hello, this is Carrie. What? No, I'm in San Jose. What do you mean, goodbye? And she shifts the phone. And she gets a terrified look in her eyes. She goes over to the window, pulls it open. And there's a great, brilliant flash of light. That is the end of our game. We screwed up. But that was amazing. So, as it was suggested to me by one our one and only listener who doesn't actually listen to the show, how'd you like that? Well, that's a nice ending. I like that. It's like, oh yeah, we're out doing stuff and, uh, well, we screwed up. You had quite a few places. Oh, crap, I have a, a, resol- a resolve thing. Uh, let's see, 40 nuclear warheads, that's 5d8. Can I have 5d8? Um, okay. I think he's got 5d8s. <laughs> okay. So many dice. <laughs> one, two. There's that giant 31. Oh, I should have factored in that giant 31. Four. Okay, that says 5d8, 1 to 3 automatic 8s on next roll, 18 to 20, discard a d8 from next roll. Interesting. Oh, uh, roll 5d20s, 1 to 3 is automatic, 8s on next roll. I don't remember. Um... I understand what this is. This is... Roll me a d20. 8. 17. 4. Okay. Minus 1 d8. So I'm going to say... I'm just going to say that um, 14 cities have been destroyed. Yay. Yay. Fourteen cities have been destroyed. That's a lot of people. Yep. It is absolutely chaotic nuclear disaster. So, how do you like your character? I think he was an asshole through and through, but I guess that's kind of a real first, having someone who's just kind of that way. Matt? Yeah, it wasn't bad, I guess. Um, Carrie. <laughs> well, gotta have a handler. You know. Rio. If there was one last thing that we had to do is to avenge Ryu, mm-hmm. that's fine. I'm good with even though millions of people died. Mm. That's fine. The world in general, how do you enjoy this demons? This um, this thing? I mean, the concept of having these other people out there that are... To be perfectly honest, it's kind of slightly reminiscent of like Vampire of the Masquerade, where there's these secret organizations that existed for thousands of years. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very much like that feel, which is a good thing. Yeah. Well, um, hope you enjoyed. That is the end of this episode. Bye. Bye. Good.